All right, so uh, this is a bit of a overdue video here. Uh, I'm gonna be installing the Action Army CNC hop-up chamber for the uh, AAP-01, or in this case, we're gonna be doing it on the Lancer Tactical Cthulhu. Um, so without further ado, let's um, get uh, cracking here. So you gotta open up the receiver, and then now you just have the upper, and then you need to undo these two screws right here. Um, and that will remove the barrel from the upper. Right, so those two screws are removed now. So we can remove the the entire barrel here. Um, the lens tactical is a little bit tight. So I like to pull the bolt back and kind of grab onto it from the inside a little bit. But it does come out eventually. There it goes. And now I have the outer barrel um, separated from the receiver. And then to remove the uh, hop-up chamber, uh, it's these screws right here. All right, so we got those are coming out. Okay, uh, those two screws have been removed, so we can now just pull this thing out. And then in this case, I'm gonna be actually installing um, an aftermarket inner barrel and bucking. I'm gonna be trying this out. Um, but in case you wanted to use the original one, I'll show you how to remove the inner barrel and bucking from the chamber. Um, so there's four screws and those all need to be unscrewed in order to take it apart, obviously. Um, so this screw down here, you have to line up these hop up wheels so that way you can fit your driver in down there. All right, so we can go ahead and unscrew these. And if you have an AAP-01, there's gonna be one piece in here that you don't have. Uh, the Lancer Tactical comes with an upgraded I key, um, but the AAP-01 doesn't have that. Um, but yeah, so just if you see an extra piece in mine, don't worry about that. Yeah, so the Lancer Tactical has this extra eye key piece here. Um, but yeah, you just uh, undo all four screws and set everything off to the side pretty much. And then you have your inner barrel and your bucking. Um, and I am a little bit interested because I think this is about 150 or so millimeters. Um, and we'll find out because this barrel is 150 millimeters. So we'll find out if, if, if I'm right or not. Um, Right, so this is the unicorn barrel. Um, it looks like it's like a steel barrel, but this is actually brass. And the silver you see is just a, a coating that they apply onto it. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's clean and we can see the size difference. Okay, so um, the silver one is 150 millimeters, black one is Lance Tactical, so like 155 or so millimeters. Um, so just a hair longer, but this will be perfectly fine for this case. Um, and then the unicorn barrels come with a bucking. Um, I wasn't paying attention if it said which degree bucking it is or not, but we're gonna use the included bucking just to try it out, because why not? <laughs> okay, so bucking and um, basically there's a little line on the bottom of your inner barrel that will line up with a line on the inside of your bucking. It's gonna be hard for me to show on camera, so just make sure you look when you do it if you have to um, put a bucking on. Um, but most of you guys that watch the channel probably know how to do the buckings. Um, so I got the bucking on there, and this bucking is very soft bucking, so maybe I wouldn't recommend this bucking. But um, here is the main attraction here, and this is the CMC hop-up chamber. Uh, this is sort of, um, I believe, like one of the most important upgrades for the AAP-01 because the hopper chamber tends to be the weakest point um, of these guns. So we'll go ahead and get this out. And then there's a bunch of little pieces in here. So you just need to keep track so you don't lose them obviously. Alright, we got them all put out now. Um, and then now we can separate all of these different pieces from this, all right? 
and this will give us a bunch of different pieces. The main piece is this one. This is where the inner barrel is going to go into. So um, we can go ahead and do that in a second. Typically, I like to put this O-ring on first. Now this O-ring, it goes onto this little slot here. Goes right there, and that just adds some extra um, friction onto the actual uh, unit. Yes, yeah, so that adds some extra friction onto the wheel, um, which you could use just the O-ring and not use the clicker system. I like to use the clicker system if it's possible. So the clicker basically, or like it's like a detent basically. Um, and I like this because it prevents any sort of walking going on. The only issue is you don't have as much options for adjustment positions. Um, but we'll try it with the clicker. And as long as we can get it going pretty straight, we'll be fine there. Um, now the inner barrel, basically um, there's a slot on one side. That's where this fin is going to line up with. So you just shove it in there. And then it needs to go all the way to the back until it's there. And then... Basically, you want to get this part ready. So this part needs to go on. But not necessarily all the way because you have to put on the actual hop-up arm. So this now uses a nub. Um, and there's a little spring. So basically, uh, you need to put the spring into that hole. If I'm having too much difficulty, I'll grab some grease. But if... If you're having a hard time, you can always use grease, and grease will kind of like temporarily stick it. So you need to put the spring into a little uh, hole there. And then the little rubber nub goes into the little uh, basket, obviously. All right, and then um, now you need to grab this, and basically you have it um, fold in on top of itself. And once it's on there, squeeze the silver piece all the way back. Now we'll hold it in. And this wheel is what will actually adjust the height of that. I'll, I'll show you in a little bit, obviously. Um, now, we can go ahead and put this part on. So this is what holds the detent. And it just goes down a little slot here. And then the last piece is this, and this is yet another sleeve. I think I'm calling everything a sleeve, but um, that's kind of what it is. And this is the piece that will hold everything all together, basically. Um, now, the a little bit annoying thing is the way that you secure it is by screwing these screws into the inner barrel. Um, this is brass, so it's pretty strong, but it's not super strong, so you need to be careful. You don't want to tighten it too much. Or else you could develop like a bend or something like that in the barrel. You, you don't want that, obviously. Um, nobody wants a bended barrel. Okay. Um, but they, they do come with Loctite. Although I'd, I'd probably recommend applying your own. Um, I'm not going to because I take my stuff apart a bunch. So I'll, I'll if it's starting to come loose, I'll notice it. Um, and I'll, I'll do Loctite then. But... If you don't take apart your stuff all the time, I would recommend uh, applying new Loctite. Hmm. Oh, I think I just put it in the wrong hole like an idiot. No, that's the right one. I don't know why it wasn't going in. That was that. That's weird. We'll try again. There it goes. It just is being a little bit stubborn. It's going in though. Okay, so it's it's at least in. So we'll hold it in place. It's not all the way in, um, but we're not going to lose anything now. So we can relax a little bit.
Okay, both of them are in, but they're not tightened down. Now, the reason they're not tightened down is we need to be very careful, and we need to try to make the barrel be as straight as possible when we do this, um, which is a little bit annoying. So we do a little bit at a time. Okay, I think that's about as straight as I'm probably going to be able to get. And it's not wiggling anymore, which is what you want, obviously. So yeah, when you uh, spin this wheel, you can hear it clicking. So that's it's landing in the detents I was talking about. And if it's in a detent, that's going to prevent it from walking while you shoot, um, which is kind of the main reason why I like these. Um, but also, as, as you can see, you can watch the arm. The arm is going to move as I tighten or loosen this. Oh, I, I don't know if you could even see that. I'm sorry. But yeah, you can. hopefully you can see that the arm does move when you spin that. Um, but yeah, there we go. So now it's all together. And then before you put it in, just again, just double check, make sure nothing looks dumb or anything like that. Um, it looks fine to me. Um, maybe I'll redo these a little bit because it looks like it's angling a little bit upwards. And obviously I don't want it to angle upwards because then it's just going to shoot upwards. Not really, but sort of. <laughs> okay. All right, I think that'll have to do. And now we can put this back in. Okay, and this is a little bit different. So on the older one, obviously you had um, like a little like a stopper nub. This one doesn't have a stopper nub, but it does it does stop where it needs to stop. Basically, it's it's just different um, by the way that they designed it. But it lines up perfectly. So you have your holes there. Um, and we can go ahead and screw those screws back in. And we're almost done. Uh, we'll just have to set it in, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, originally, I, I did want to use a 200 millimeter inner barrel, but that is too long for even with the compensator, it would have been sticking out. Um, so I went, went with um, 150 millimeters, which is a, a, a little bit short, but it, it does the job just fine. It's it's long compared to most other guns. Okay, and then it just goes in. And the Lancer tacticals are tight, but there it goes. And we just got to screw these screws in. And after this, we should be done. We just got to side it in, in or adjust the hob up correctly to the sights, and then it'll be done, which will be nice. Mm -hmm. So obviously it goes together. Slide moves. Um, yeah, there's, oh no, there's obviously no beeping in the chamber, but just make sure that nothing is sitting wonky. It's always good to dry fire it. It does successfully dry fire, so we didn't mess up too bad. Uh, we just have to sight it in now, basically. Um, but that is the end of this video. I'm not going to sight the gun in on camera. Um, but obviously, adjustment, you can just spin this dial to be the correct adjustment that you want. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's about that. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this video was useful for you. And make sure you check out uh, the link down below. Uh, that is a link to our Discord server, and you are welcome to join. All right? Have a nice day.